Okay, I have done question 24 on another video. This belongs to 24, so we're going to start with this one here. It's a three mark question. There's, there's not a lot to it in terms of the words. Um, it is, oh, uh, I'm looking at it and it's a compound interest question, I think, but a compound interest but I've looked at it again and that's a decrease. So it's a, a depreciation. We're actually going down. Right, let's read it properly. A new phone costs £679. The value of the phone decreases at a rate of 4% per year. Work out the value of the phone at the end of three years. Now there is a formula for this on the, uh, on the formula sheet. I think the formula is really confusing. However, um, you could plug numbers in and see if you can use the formula sheet. I know that the compound interest is the amount or oh, the new phone. Yeah, that's fine. So it's the original amount multiplied by the multiplier. This is the interest as a decimal but this is a decrease. So we're looking at 4%, but 4% of the decimal would be 0 0.04. And what we need to do is we need to take that away from one. One subtract 0 0.04, 96. 0 0.96, and that is what is going to go in here. I sometimes call it the multiplier. And then we need to um, put this to the power of this number here. So I should move this down a bit. It's the original amount. We're going to multiply it by 0 0.96. And then we're going to square sorry, cubit, because that's the number of years. I'm literally going to put that into my calculator. All right, 60, 679 multiplied by 0 0.96. Now, there's a there's a button on your calculator here. And this, um, just to the power of something, there's also actually a button here in the yellow on my calculator. It actually says x to the power of 3. You may have that on your calculator. You may not. This works too, but I'm going to use the shift to the power of three and it automatically puts in my little three. In fact, I'll just delete that and show you how to do it with this button here. So I click this and then I have to put in that little three. This is the answer here. So I'm going to write that all of that down on my page. Now it is money. I cannot put all of these uh, these here, but I do round it to the nearest pence. I round it to the nearest pence. This is the number that I'm rounding to. This is the number that tells me about it. So it's 600 point. This becomes a four. This seven stays. So it's 674 pence. Let's just check. We started with uh, this number here. We decreased it, the little amount, over th uh, three years. It really would decrease. In actual fact, this a phone would decrease a lot more than that in three years. But they've been really uh, generous with the depreciation. And so this is less than this. After three years, a phone will cost less. It won't cost more. So this is the question here. I'm just going to cover that if you want to look at it. That And that has nothing to do with this question.